Apollo Road Roundabout, which will detail upcoming road closures and detours. The meeting will be held at the Scott Event Center on June 8th. The meeting is open to the TV3 Studios. This is Acadiana's News Channel at 6. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for choosing Acadiana's News Channel at 6. I'm Scott Brasda. Lafayette Police is investigating a shooting that sent one person to the hospital early this morning. Around 1.50 a.m., police found a 27-year-old man suffering from a gunshot wound in a parking lot in the 4400 block of Johnston Street. The victim was transported to a hospital where he is in stable condition. Police say they believe that an altercation happened inside the La Bamba Bar Lounge, which continued outside where the shooting happened. Happening right now on your screen, a live look at the police memorial at Park International in downtown Lafayette. The fest honors fallen law enforcement officers in our area and also celebrates the end of the National Police Week. The mission for this event is to send a family of a Louisiana police officer who has perished in the line of duty to Washington, D.C. for the annual Honoring the Fallen Ceremony. In St. Landry Parish, funeral services for Private Hillary Swallow held today. Nearly 80 years after he was killed in World War II, the St. Landry Parish soldier was given a proper farewell. Private Hillary Swallow was killed in action in January 1943 in the Solomon Islands. His remains were positively identified in 2020. And coming up on Acadiana's News Channel at 10 o'clock, we will take a full look at the soldier being laid to rest. Here's Bradley's 24-hour forecast. Well, started out very muggy out there this morning. Temperatures upper 70s uh, to near 80 degrees. 81 the official low here in Lafayette, but still got up into the lower 90s this afternoon, at least 92 here in Lafayette and currently upper 80s to near 90 early this evening. 87 pretty popular number. Lafayette rain Kaplan over towards Abbeville and Youngsville. 91 still in Opelousas. Karen Crow, you're coming in at 88 and as expected, uh, rain chances not too terribly high today. Most of the action has stayed well off to our east across the basin, uh, say near uh, Baton Rouge, where some heavy thunderstorms and a good amount of lightning ongoing with those cells, but not too much here in Acadiana. One lone shower there on the uh, Vermilion Iberia uh, border there, but uh, that's about it. So again, we could see maybe one or two isolated storms through early this evening, but once we lose the heating of the day, I think uh, most of us staying dry for the rest of this evening, but better rain chances arriving late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Here's the graph model showing a healthy line of showers and storms pushing through three or four o'clock in the morning. Got to give a got to give or take an hour or two with the models, but nonetheless, some heavy downpours will be possible and a few of those storms could contain strong gusty winds and or some pea sized hail. So here's the 24 hour forecast again, lower 70s first thing tomorrow morning and scattered showers and storms. A pretty good bet just at it at pretty much at any point during the day, maybe toning down a little bit by the afternoon as the models are trending more so towards the first half of the day. But nonetheless, uh, keep the rain gear handy tomorrow. Temperatures a little bit cooler with the attic cloud cover will struggle to reach the lower 80s. The pattern staying unsettled, at least through about the middle parts of the week. But what about next weekend, the big Memorial Day weekend? We'll have a look at that coming up in just a bit.